Hey guys, so uh, this gets its own video, soul video, because I found my all time favorite sunscreen ever. Uh, if you don't know, since my skincare journey, if you don't know, I've been on a skincare journey, who isn't? Uh, I have just become like very obsessed with SPF, taking care of my skin in that regard. And uh, I've been all over the map, bro, trying to find like sunscreens that don't pill, that are moisturizing enough, that don't have an insane white cast, that aren't like too thick, that aren't gonna like break up my makeup throughout the day. Listen, I've been through it all, okay? Chemical, mineral, I've used so many of them. Recently I found out that there are hybrid sunscreens. No one told me this. I don't know how I didn't know because I did so much research around sunscreens. I recently picked up this one from Dermatology, which I don't know why I never tried to begin with. This is broad spectrum SPF 45, which is like basically the mini minium, what? Minimum that I like to try and use. Um, this is a hybrid sunscreen, which means it contains both chemical sunscreens and also mineral. Uh, so it contains 12% zinc oxide and 7.5% oct octinoxate, octinoxate. I was at Sephora. Um, and I was with Gabby and we were just like, you know, whatever, swatching stuff and doing things that makeup people do. And uh, we came across one from Tatcha and she mentioned that it was a hybrid sunscreen. And I was like, what? So I immediately went online and watched a Dr. Dre video about hybrid sunscreens. And I just thought that this would be a really great um, option for me because chemical sunscreens sting my eyes like crazy. Can't wear them no matter what. Even if I keep them away from my eyes, eventually the fumes just kind of like end up stinging. Uh, mineral sunscreens, you get a lot of pilling. They can be really, really thick. There's a white cast. They can be sometimes too oily or too dry. And yeah, so Dr. Dre said that this would be, Dr. Dre, I just love saying that. The dermatologist Andrea said that this would be a great option for people who, you know, have all of those problems basically. And I found it and I wanted to talk to you guys about it. We're gonna apply it. Uh, it's like, I would say negligible, the white cast, because it does contain like a little bit of a mineral um, or whatever. So what I do is for my face, I usually do like, I don't know, three pumps. I pride myself on describing scents. So I, I feel that is necessary. This smells like if you removed the salt from Play-Doh, that's what it smells like. It's not like fantastic, you know, but, um, it dissipates in my opinion. So I'll do three pumps for my face. I applied my skincare, my moisturizer and my eye cream. Toner, moisturizer and eye cream probably about 20 to 30 minutes ago at this point. So it goes on kind of like wet looking, but that will dry down. And like upon first application, maybe you can kind of see like a little bit of a tint of a white cast. I'm also, I'm incredibly fair. So like if anyone has medium to deep skin, I would love to hear if you've tried this and what your thoughts are. But one of the benefits of chemical sunscreens is that they don't leave a white cast. So three pumps for my face. And I just like to make sure that I um, evenly distribute without overworking it because that can manipulate the formula and make it less effective. Right? I would say that there's no white cast. You know? Now, if I was going to change this a little bit, I would make it ever so slightly more hydrating because you can see like a bit of a glow to my skin right now, but it does like dry down a bit. And uh, I do find that like, if I try to just replace my moisturizer with it, it's a little too drying for my skin. So if you have very dry skin, I would recommend like applying a moisturizer, waiting a bit, like you're supposed to wait 15 minutes before you apply your sunscreen and then another 15 before you like apply makeup or go outside. Uh, that's what I do. This might be a little bit too drying for you without moisturizer, but if you've oily skin, I feel like it's a really good option. Uh, especially if you found that like Elta MD UV clear is too drying for you. So, um, and this has like no white cast. It's less expensive. I believe that I'll put the prices, but Elta MD UV clear is significantly more expensive than this, which I was surprised by because I just assumed I bought this for like 22 bucks. I was spending a lot more than that on my other sunscreens. So I'm very happy to have discovered this guy. It does not sting my eyes at all. Um, so I guess maybe it's just the um, octinoxate. Um, maybe if I looked for chemical sunscreens that just contained that, but I feel like there's typically a lot more 
um, ingredients that end up stinging my eyes. This does not do that at all. Uh, my sunscreen, I mean, my makeup wears so beautifully on top of it. They don't know about me. I've never even reached out to them. I bought this myself. Uh, like I said, I watched the video where Dr. Dre was talking about like different sunscreens and I was like, I'm gonna try this one and I immediately fell in love with it. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. I do, I just jumped, Jesus. I do another like three or four pumps for my neck. Um, and then for my, this is probably like really gross ASMR, for my ears, um, I do a pump per, this sounds so weird because I'm like, uh, a pump per ear, essentially. Um, and it's just like, it's a fucking dream to apply. Like, I love sun care. I've become very obsessed with it. It's really important to me, especially since I started using actives like tretinoin and like all the things that I use to protect my, um, or prevent congestion. Can just make your skin like more susceptible to sun damage so spf has become like a major priority for me but when i was using mineral sunscreens or you know chemical sunscreens that were stinging my eyes i would often find myself like avoiding putting it on first thing in the morning because i just didn't want to deal with it you know it's also very difficult to layer i just keep hitting things on my desk this is like a dream to put on. Like immediately first thing in the morning, I'm like, I want I want to do my skincare, I want to do my sun care. Um, and it's it's so easy to layer, doesn't pill up, you know, doesn't create that like crazy film on top of your skin. Um, and I feel like I can use like the correct amount without it being like way too much, you know? Isn't that such a nice finish to my skin? Like I can't tell you how many times I've received compliments from people when I, like I was in the elevator the other day and somebody was like, your skin is so, glowy and beautiful like what are you wearing and I was like just sunscreen <laughs> so that's like really nice to get compliments on just your skin you know anyway that's all this video is I just wanted to share that with you because I've used a bunch of other ones and I'll link those down below because I still use like anytime I've try I try a chemical sunscreen and it doesn't work for me um I'll use it for my body like I'll use it on my legs if I'm wearing shorts or whatever uh because it's more lightweight and it doesn't like feel sticky or gross uh, mineral sunscreens, I'll continue to use on my face. I still use my pipette one. I still use my Aven one. Um, I'll just like more often use those on my hands because they're like, especially pipette is very moisturizing. It's great for super dry skin. Um, yeah, and I essentially just use it as like a moisturizer, hand moisturizer. Um, but I just wanted to share that with you because I fell in love with it immediately. I was like, oh, finally, <laughs> finally I found a sunscreen that I love, so. Beautiful. So if you have been watching my videos and you're like, how does she achieve that glow? Literally just sunscreen. It's all, it's been sunscreen for like, I don't know, months now, probably more. That's it. Not sponsored. They don't need, I haven't contacted them. They don't know about me, but I'm obsessed with them. So highly recommend. That's how, I don't know how to end this video because that was so incredibly random. I was like, I'm just going to film this. So peace out. Oh, that's what Sam does. Not stealing her thing. Bye. I'll, st I'll stick with the super awkward bye.